Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So far, we've done a lot of tutorials on the Incredibles. We've done the whole Incredibles family, except one of the most important characters, especially if you've seen Incredibles 2, which I saw this week, and it was amazing. And I think he's my favorite out of the whole movie. And we're gonna go ahead and draw Jack-Jack today. So this is going to be a full body sketch. Let's go ahead and map out his entire body. I'm gonna go ahead and his face is pretty simple because he has a very round head. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna map, make this a little bit flatter up here bring down this side, bring down this side, and then around at the bottom here. All right, there's our basic shape of the head. Now let's go ahead and draw his body. So he has just a little bit of a neck. I'm gonna draw his little itty bitty neck. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw out the most part of his body. Bring down this side, round it out. And then go out this way. So I go out this way, go in, and then go back into his head. So this part, and then around belly, and then around the butt. Okay, now let's go ahead and do one leg over here. Bring down this side, and I'm gonna go underneath here, bring out this side. I'm going to make a circle. Now I'm going to make a circle right here. We're gonna curve the circle outwards. And then we're gonna jump on top of the circle make that crease to the leg. And then we're going to jump up here to this arm, round it off, and it goes down. Go up, bring this down over here, up. And we're going to round off right here, jump over here, bring out this side, round this down into his belly, Actually, we're not going to go all the way into his belly. You're just going to come, come to right here. And I'm going to round off this part. And I'm going to round off this part because these two spots are going to be his hands. All right, now we have his overall body. Let's go ahead and start shaping up him up a little bit more by adding some facial features. What I'm gonna do first is go ahead and give my overall eye guideline and then my nose guideline. First, what I'd like to do is go ahead and place his nose. His nose is this little round thing right here in the middle. Then we're gonna go ahead and place his eyes. So his eyes, I'm gonna bring up that eye line just a little bit. and I'm gonna go ahead and place one eye here and you see I go up round that up and down jump over here round that up and down so I round this up and down he's got really really big eyes so I'm gonna round up here bring down this side round down it round it down here curve it up and then round off the corner. I'm gonna do the exact same thing where I bring this down, make it a little wider, bring this so I make the top here, bring in this side, and connect. After that, let's go ahead and draw his pupil iris areas, which is one's right here, and the other is right here. So we have a little bit of space from the white part, blue part. Let's 
clear up a little bit of these guidelines. I'm gonna draw the shine in his eye. So one little shine here, one little shine here, and then I'm going to make a pupil. And then he's got really bright blue eyes, but it's darker up at the corner and lighter at the bottom. Let's shade those in. Now for his mask, we're going to start at his nose. So it goes up over his nose, round it down, leave just a little bit of room at the side of his face, go up. One side of his mask is going to be larger than the other. Gonna go up over here and down over here. Round it. And we're gonna round down here. And connect over his nose ridge again. So he has a little bit of a nose ridge and we're seeing more of a darker side right here as opposed to over here. So I'm just going to make a little bit of a, a little bit of a nose ridge here. It's just the bend in the mask, that natural bend. And then let's jump to his nose. Now we're going to keep the overall roundness. What you're going to do is you're going to curve right here. And right here, just give him those nostrils. Still keep the overall circle to his nose because it's just a round, cute little baby nose. And then for his mouth, you're actually gonna start right here with a dimple. Right here with a dimple. So we have this one and then this one. And it's actually gonna go down to a, to a little bit of a point, go up. Connect to here. And you're going to bring down this side. Curve it down. And I'm going to jump over here. Curve this one down. So this, so his top lip line goes to a point. And then this part rounds down. Rounds down. Now the other thing is he's got two little cute bottom teeth. So we got one, so we're just going to make a little bit of a box at that bottom lip. And you're just gonna separate those two just a little bit. And we got those two cute little teeth. And let's go ahead and just shade in his mouth and his mask and clear up a few guidelines on his face. All right, now that we cleared up a lot of the guidelines and shaded in a bunch of stuff, what I'd like to do is go ahead and make an ear over here so his ears stick out a lot because he hasn't grown into them yet. So I'm gonna go up, down, and then curve back into his head. And then I'm gonna jump over here, bring out this side, curve it down, and back into his head. So we can still see these lines on the side of his head. We're going to bring up this little division to his earlobe and then this little division. This one over here. This one over here. That's all that you really need to put onto his head. Not too much detail when it comes to his ears. And then let's shape up his face just a little bit more over his overall head and make him round. I made him a little bit angular just because I wanted to lay it out. Perfectly, so I'm gonna just round out these sides of his head just a little bit more. He doesn't have to be so squarish. He's a baby, so he's round. There we go, that makes everything a little bit rounder and nicer. And then I'm gonna jump up to his head, and his hair is so cute, just all, all goes up to a point. And then back down. 
and all he has to do is just bring it to that point and his blonde hair like his dad and dash just go up and there next let's go ahead and do his arms and hands now for his we got his neck for right now we got this right here but he does have a little bit of a collar to his suit so we go down, bring this down and round it back up. So we see skin and a little bit of the black collar. Let's start with this side first. You're gonna round out his shoulder just a little bit. Make a little bit of a crease here. And then this part will be overlapping. Now, <laughs> this is gonna be difficult because it's gonna be a baby's hand and it's gonna be open. So we're gonna see a lot of the hand. But it should be really easy. I'm gonna go ahead and make a square first. Coming out of his overall sleeve. I'm gonna make a thumb for right now. So I make that little itty bitty thumb. Make one finger. One little itty bitty finger. Another finger. And then a pinky finger. You see, I'm just making hills. I'm gonna round out this down. And make that line and a division to show like it's the palm of a hand. And then right here, I'm gonna round out this thumb just a little bit more. So we've got his ring finger, middle finger, pointer finger, pinky finger, and thumb. Then I'm, I'm gonna jump around at the bottom of his hand, at this side of his hand, bring down this part, this black part, round it up, and connect to this red part, and then I'm gonna just bring down this side. And overall, just go ahead and connect it to the rest of his little jumpsuit. Get rid of some guidelines so you can see that just a little bit more. So I'm going to start at the shoulder, give a little bit of more space, so I'm going to bring down the shoulder just a little bit, bring this down, and then this part is going to go down in front of that line we just made. And we're going to jump down here, make this elbow allow a little bit more, bring this up, and then we're going to do the other baby's hand. So the other baby hand on Jack Jack. So I'm going to make my square again, round this up and then round this up and then bring it down right here. I'm going to make a thumb first. Bring out his thumb. A little bit of space. Bring out his pointer finger. You see I'm just making little hills. Middle finger. Ring finger. Little itty bitty hills. And then the pinky finger. and shape these up just a little bit more. I'm going to make those two lines again. So here's his palm. One palm line, two palm line. And I'm gonna bring down black part of his sleeve. Round it down. I'm gonna jump off to the side right here and bring out this red part to his sleeve. One piece of red here, another piece of red here. And then curve that elbow a little bit more. Let's get rid of some guidelines so we can see that. Now let's jump down to the rest of his body. So I'm gonna bring down from his elbow here, bring this down, go out. Bring his butt down to the ground just a little bit more. Round it down, because we got diaper, diaper fluff. Okay, now I'm gonna jump up to here. Bring in his cute little belly. Go in, so there's the belly line. And here's a leg line. Up, and then I'm gonna jump up here. Bring down this side, bring it down. And then that circle we made, I'm gonna push it back just a little bit. We're gonna go up, round it down. 
Now I'm gonna bring down this part of his little heel, his little booty that's connected to his overall onesie. Little booty part. And then give a little bit more definition here. And then that's done. And this will be black because it's the sole of his booty, sh booty shoe. Round down this side. Bring out the bottom. Bring this up. We don't have to get too defi definition with this. Too we don't have to get too detailed with this because it's overall in the right place. So we're going to make the bottom of the, the sole of the shoe, the little booty. You're going to leave a little bit of space up at top to show that red part. Keep this line up the top of the shoe. And then these rest of the lines can go away. That's what you want to keep and you can go ahead and shade in this part because it's black. And Jack Jack does not have a little incredible sign on his chest. And there you guys go. There's how to draw Jack Jack from Incredibles 1 and Incredibles 2. He is by far my favorite character from both movies now, especially Incredibles 2. I hope you guys have a most wonderful day. Bye!